Oh, here's our rice, and I have never had this kind of rice. It looks a little wider, flatter, thicker than um, regular rice, but it's called arborio, arborio. Help me out if you guys know how to pronounce these words. When it's something new to me and I don't know how to pronounce it, I just wing it, you know. Welcome back to the smaller half. We have another every plate unboxing for you guys. So you can see uh, the three different meals that we chose this week. I'm excited because I forgot what they are. So <laughs> it's a surprise to me. I was just telling Ben, hey, our every plate came. And he's like, oh, great. What, what are we eating? I'm like, I don't know. It's a surprise. Okay. So let's open this up. Oh, let's see. Okay. So when I first opened up the box, I found my recipe cards, which I always say how much I love these recipe cards. I really do. It's been fun to gather them and collect them and keep them all together so that we can continue to eat these recipes if we choose. Um, you can pretty much recreate them on your own, most of them. Um, but I also found this inside my box. This is the first time I've ever gotten these. Let's see. It says, give a friend a free box. It is $60. This is worth 60 bucks, guys. So a $60 gift certificate. So you can give them this um, as a gift, or if they are far away and you don't want to deal with that, there is a code on the back that you could give them. So that's cool. I'm gonna give out some free boxes here of every plate to some friends and family members. I'm excited, that's great. If you guys are interested in trying every plate, there is a code that will be down below in the description. Um, you just click on that and that's gonna give you $10 off your first box. Not as good as the 60, but hey, I'm thinking that I remember a while back that after you are with every plate for a little bit of time, they start giving you really cool perks. And I think this is one of them. I think this is due to the fact that we've ordered several times from every plate now. Um, that we're able to give these out to help other people. So that's pretty cool. Okay, so these are the meals. This one I remember. Broccoli cheddar bisque. Mmm. With garlic bread. That one seems really fun. There's some sort of a, a red sauce that you pour over the top. It might be hot sauce. Maybe some people like hot sauce on their broccoli. Not me, but... There we go. Um, it's supposed to rain for the next couple days, so we're gonna save that one for one of these next days coming up. The next one is lemon garlic shrimp. This one looks really cool. Um, it's over creamy Parmesan risotto. Mmm, yummy. So this one was an upgrade. So every plate has many options that go along with their plan, but then they also have a couple of things, two, three, four meals that are a little, little higher. And you just add a little bit more for each uh, person um, in order to get them. And this is one of those I couldn't resist because I thought this looked amazing. Shrimp is one of my favorites. I love shrimp. Um, so that one looked really good. They also now have some add-ons at the end, some different things that you can add on to make your meal better. I know one of them is garlic bread and then a few other things. So that's kind of cool. And our third meal this week is going to be this. I'm going to look at it when I pronounce it because that first word, Harissa, I'm going with. I have a sister-in-law named Larissa and her name <laughs> kind of looks like that. So we're going Harissa Roasted Chick Peebles. I'm not sure what that word is. Yum. I love chickpeas. Like seriously love chickpeas. Um, my daughter told me that you can make a faux fake um, tuna salad with chickpeas. You just mash them up um, kind of like tuna fish and then doctor them up however you want. Um, I do mayonnaise and mustard and relish, sweet relish and some everything bagel seasoning. So good. So good. It's my favorite. Okay. So this one back to this recipe is with couscous and a creamy avocado dressing and cilantro. Wow. I really do love bowls, don't I? Don't I always pick the bowls? If you watch any of my videos, I'm always like, another bowl, I picked a bowl. Um, okay, so these are the three meals that we got this week. I'm excited about them, and I'd like to show you what everything looks like when it comes out of the box. So these boxes are kept uh, nice and cool, so when they get to you, um, they're nice and fresh. They can be delivered right outside your door. Our mailman usually brings ours in our garage if it's open, which is really nice since it's right by our door. So they are so easy because they come right to you. Everything, the, the menu is planned. You just choose what you want. You get the meal, you get the recipe card, and you get everything pre-packaged, pre-measured, and ready to go for your dinner. Um, we just do it every now and again. We don't do it every single day. And it really, really helps to figure out what you're making for dinner that night. So 
sometimes it's hard and I get bored of the same old things. And right now I'm not enjoying grocery shopping. And so this is wonderful. I'm loving this. Okay, so let me start showing you what we have. We have our chickpeas. And they sent us some milk and this cute little milk. This must be for our broccoli soup. And here's our broccoli florets. They're pretty much all trimmed down um, and ready to put right into the soup. That's awesome. And we've got the cheese they sent, shredded cheese. Here's our cilantro. Um, I've also said this before, but we live in a small town and sometimes it's difficult for us to find certain food items or um, even sometimes get them that fresh. Our cilantro always looks really yuck at our, <laughs> at our market. And I know cilantro is not that expensive, but we tend to buy it, use it for a meal, maybe two, sometimes put it in some salsa, and then the rest of it's gross and it's, it's done. You don't get to use it for, for very long. So that's kind of a bummer. Um, we have found that ordering these different meal kits have really helped broaden our horizons on different food items and different meals. Um, it is great to be able to get things that I know that we can't get around here delivered right to our door. Carrots, little tiny cute sour cream, uh, purple or red onion, whichever you call it, um, some guacamole, more sour cream. Here is, um, this is gonna be for, it's a cute little baguette. That's gonna be our garlic bread for the soup. It's pretty cute. We've got a yellow or sweet onion. Here is our bag of couscous. We had a meal last week that had couscous in it. It was incredible. Some little packets of the vegetable stock. They really do give you everything. There's only like four or five little items here and there. Like sometimes they'll ask you to use some veggie or olive oil or butter um, or flour. And maybe sugar is another one. But everything else comes ready for you. We've got garlic and a cute little lemon. There's a few more goodies in here. Our green onions. That's another one that has been really bad at our, our stores lately. Oh, I was gonna tell you, we have not been able to find cilantro at any of the grocery stores around us in several weeks. I even had a friend that I mentioned this to and she said the same thing, it's not just me. So it's kind of crazy when you can't find certain food items. It makes me, makes me sad. Some cream cheese. Oh, here's our rice, and I have never had this kind of rice. It looks a little wider, flatter, thicker than um, regular rice, but it's called arborio, arborio. Help me out if you guys know how to pronounce these words. When it's something new to me and I don't know how to pronounce it, I just wing it, you know. Down below, they have a box, and then they have the cold pack, the freezer pack down there, and that is for any meat that comes in your meal or anything that they need to keep super, super cold. So we've got our Parmesan cheese. Another lemon that must have slid down under there. This also slid. This is har harissa powder. <laughs> harissa powder. Okay, so it's cayenne, smoked paprika, garlic, coriander, cumin, cinnamon, dill seed, and bay leaves. That sounds really good. That sounds really yum. I'm excited for that. I love when the seasonings come like that. I'm not the best with seasonings. And so it's fun to have them all ready. And they tell you exactly how much to put in your meal so you don't mess it up. And here we have our shrimp. This looks really good, really fresh. Okay, that's everything from my box. So let me know down below, guys. What's for dinner? See ya.